we tell if somebody seen the message, it will pop their you know icon picture in it. So she's the only one that haven't seen our messages. And on that weekend also, we do have that, again, that plan to Big Bear. So we've been trying to get in touch with her, um, but um, there's no response from her. And when you say we, who are you talking about? My, my family, my siblings, uh, my mom and my dad. And you said, is it in the Facebook Messenger that you can tell if somebody has actually viewed a message? Correct, yes. Explain that a little bit. So when somebody look at the message, you kind of like check the message, it popped up, you know, icon, your picture or, you know, it's, or icon that you have on the, uh, on the Facebook, uh, on the messenger. So would that be like the photograph that is attached to your profile? Correct, yes. Your, your name, yes. Page? So that would, that would show up in the Facebook messenger thread to indicate that you know that person has actually viewed the message? Correct, yes. And when was the last communication that you are aware of that anyone in your family had had with her? A Thursday. January 7th? Correct. Okay. And so after you spoke to your father on the 9th, Saturday, was there something, action that you took as a result of talking to him? Yes, so after I found out, then I told my husband something is wrong. Um, we had to go you know, look for her. We got to go check on her. Where were you living at the time? Marina Valley. Was there anyone of your siblings that lived locally? My brother, JR, yes. And he is the only sibling or family member that lived close. Was he the closest one to me? Correct, yes. Everyone else lived somewhere out of San Diego County. That's correct. Prior to January the 9th, during that full week from after Glamis to January 9th, did you have any communication with Larry? I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Nothing that stands out to you? N nothing, yes. And then, on the, did you try to call your sister? Yes. On her cell phone? Correct, yes. Did you, and you got no response? Yeah, it just goes straight to voicemail. Is that, was that common at all in, in the past when you called your sister that it would go straight to voicemail? No, not at all. What did you do on January the 9th? So once we, I found out that my dad um, didn't see her at all, or we haven't had any contact with her. Um, I told my husband we had to go to San Diego, so um, we waited until we had a dinner first um, in the afternoon, uh, I mean dinner time, and then, then we left. We went to their house um, Saturday. What time did you get there? Maybe about seven or eight at night, yes. That Saturday, January 9th? Correct. In the evening? In the evening, yes. Who were you? Was it just you and Richard, your husband? Correct. What happened when you got there? So, we, um, Larry was there, um, the kids were there, um, the house is a little bit, it, it was a mess, there's boxes everywhere. Um, I was concerned about that, but um, it, it's the first time I saw the house in a mess because they're always kind of like neat and tidy. Um, but he. You said that's the first time you saw the house in the it, it was a mess. Oh, yeah. So that was an unusual thing to see it in a state where it was messy like that. Right. Go on. So. Larry was telling me um, that probably, you know, your sister just went for a hike this morning and she left this morning and she, he, sh she sh he said she should be back home soon. She's probably be at the park right now, but, you know, she she'll be back soon. This is around what time? Maybe about, you know, when we get there about seven or eight or maybe about nine o'clock. Was it, was it dark out? It was already dark, yes. And it was at that time that he said, well, she may have just gone out for a hike? She, he said that 
she probably had left this morning, but he didn't see her leaving the house. Um, so, and then so he was telling me that at that time, during that time, um, she probably at the park right now, just kind of like trying to maybe um, get up some steam because they did have an argument um, the night before or they had an argument Thursday night. Now, um, did he tell you what the argument was about? Not really, but I, I did ask him if it's about work-related stuff. That he, work? Right, he wants her to He wants actually her uh, to uh, about the work relationship she have with somebody. Had he in the during the course of 2020? Had he revealed to you that he believed that your sister was having an affair? Yes. Uh, when did he do that? I don't remember exactly what when. And is that something? Did he mention that more than once to you? Correct. You yes. More than a couple of times? Maybe yes. In what context would he bring that up to you about her? When he caught, when he was, well, during 2020, he was calling um, most of the siblings and he would just um, ask help. My sister is out again. Or sometimes he would tell, he would ask us to talk to her uh, if. She's not talking to him, and um, I wasn't really paying attention that much of you know the conversation that he had, because I thought my sis, I thought it wasn't true. I wasn't believing that she is having an affair. January 9th, when you spoke to him in the evening. Did he say anything else to you about where he thought she might be? He meant, he just said she's probably at the park where she's usually at, but he didn't mention exactly exactly where. Did he explain that she was at a park usually at, in the evenings? No, that was actually, it felt like it was the first time he was telling me that she um, she's at the park. Did you question that at all, or did he expand on that at all? No, no. What did you do next? After a couple hours and then I was just on the phone asking her friends where she could be. Um, then I called the police. I, I, I'm not sure about exactly what time um, asking uh, I was telling, I wanted to report the missing person. Did you have the opportunity to meet May's friends over the years? Yes. Did she have a set of close friends? Yes. Who were some of her closest friends? Um, I know Kristen and Allie and um, Courtney. Did you make contact with those people to see if they had any idea where she was? I don't recall, um, but within that chaos, um, I kind of knew that they were telling me, um, I, I believe it's through Genesis at that time, um, that may usually is not this way, you know, something is wrong. Um, so they kept on telling me something is wrong. Do you have to, you have to call the police. So Genesis was providing you information through, or May's friends were providing Correct, yes. And uh, you, you had said that over a couple of hours you were calling some of May's friends. Were there other friends that you were calling? No. Or who, who were you calling during that time? We, we were on, like, the messenger. Yeah. Who's who? We being who? Um, I think it would be, like, the siblings and, the, and the, just the group messenger. And were you communicating with her friends, or when you said calling I, her friends, did you mean doing that through someone else? 
I don't recall calling them directly, um, but I, I think the communication was like, you know, with the Genesis, you know, giving us more information. I mean, through Genesis with her friends. And Genesis is again JR's wife? Correct, yes. Do you know why Genesis had any kind of more direct communication with these friends? She, Genesis worked with my sister Maya, so they're almost in the same, you know, same company. So Genesis was aware of who the, had a relationship or, or knew who these friends were as well? Correct, yes. What was Larry doing during that time? Council with they council. Uh, the evening of January 9th, when you, from the time that you got there until the time that you called the police, what was Larry doing? He was walking around the house. Uh, he's upstairs stairs mainly doing something up there and we're primarily be, um, downstairs. I don't really know exactly what he was doing and um, me and the kids were around too so I'm assuming he was taking care of the kids. Did you ever have a conversation with the kids? A little bit here and there but I don't recall exactly my conversation with them. Anything about their conversation, your conversation with them that allowed you to that kind of know where your sister was? So you're not introducing it for the truth of the matter. Correct. Was there anything that the children provided you in terms of information that led you to take any action? In other words, start looking somewhere? Was there mm. anything helpful that they were to provide to you in terms of finding your sister? Not that I recall. Did you have a conversation with Larry about whether or not to call the police? Yes, well, he did said to wait a little bit, she'll be back home. What time was that? Well, when I start calling the police, I said, I, I don't care. Um, that would be like maybe about 9, 10 o'clock. I said, I don't care, I'm calling, I'm calling the police now. Um, but he did said, you know, wait till later, um, wait till like about 2 o'clock or so. So before calling the police, but she, he was telling me she'll be back home soon. Why did he say to wait until two o'clock? I don't know. Did you call um, the emergency nine one one, or who did you call? I called the Chula Vista Police uh, Department number. And did you speak to someone? Yes, I did. What happened? Next? I spoke to a lady dispatcher first, and then um, they told me to call the hospitals or the morgue, um, any safe houses or maybe some churches or something like that. Um, and then, then they said, you have to do that first, which we did. Um, me and my husband Richard um, start calling the hospitals and the, some of the, the morgue. The hospitals around uh, their house. Did you find your sister? No. What was Larry doing? I don't recall exactly, um, but he was upstairs with the kids. Where were you making these phone calls? Downstairs by the living um, family room. What was Larry's demeanor like? He wasn't worried. Like he, he seems like you know, it's like normal. Like he doesn't seem that um, has that panic uh, in him that Maya is missing. Had had you had any communication with him throughout 2020 when he couldn't find your sister or where he was looking for your sister? No. Did uh, he help call the hospitals? No. Uh, did Larry help call the morgues? No. Did he, when you finally decided to call the police, did he say, yes, that's a good idea, let's call the police? No. What was he saying at that time? 
He was telling me to wait. Did he say why he wanted to wait? It has something to do with, like, a tw you gotta wait 24 hours or something like that. I just didn't get it at the time when he was, he was saying it. Something about waiting 24 hours? Right. While you were at the house, I mean, from the time that you got there until the time you called the police, did you walk around the house? Did you go looking throughout the house for anything? Yes, um, I did kind of walk, um, not outside though, but just inside because at that point I was still, you know, like in denial that something is wrong with my, you know, something is wrong. Uh, I was still hoping she's actually at the park. Um, but we, I did walk around the house, look at, went to the, the rooms, um, downstairs room, and I did went to uh, the master's bedroom too, and, you know, and, and went to um, the closet and, and um, the bathroom. Why did you go to those locations? I wanted to find out if my sister might be there or I was, you know, at my mind at that time, maybe she's just hiding from, you know, from us. So um, I didn't, I didn't thought of anything, um, anything worse. So you actually were looking for your sister? Yes. And didn't find her? No. Did you, when you looked in the closet, did you see any obvious sign of a packed bag or clothing missing or items of value missing? Not that I recall. She has, she has a lot of stuff. Um, so I and I don't really know like, all her belongings. Um, so I don't really know if there's anything missing in that in the closet or in the bat in the bedroom. Anything obvious that looked to you? In other words, huge gaps of clothing in the closet or anything like that that looked obvious as if something she had packed up suddenly and left. Uh, not that I recall. Showing you what's been identified as. 226. Uh, do you recognize what's shown in this photograph? Yes. And what is that? That's their master bedroom. And just kind of showing you, uh, zooming in a bit more on the shelf there. Do you recognize what's on the shelf <clears throat> next to the closet? Yes. That's her purses and the yes. one in the, yeah. What's the brand name of the uh, majority of those purses? She has the Louis Vuitton. Uh, may I approach her? To show her an exhibit? Yes. Yes. Well, when we, when we were at, on the night, um, it wasn't this, you know, a tight, tidy. So it was a little bit more a mess at that time. So I, I, mean, um, I don't know if there's anything missing or anything like that. Okay. Uh, do you recognize, well, do you know whether, what purse she normally would use? She has the, the one on the top left. Um, that's her um, usual go-to, and then also the one in the middle. Um, yeah. Can you describe uh, the which shelf? The third uh, shelf from the bottom, and it's on the middle one. So that's usually her purse too. Do you have a laser pointer? So. Oh yes. Oh, it's this, this. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. 
how do you? I'm sorry, I don't know how to. <laughs> oh, is that like the the light? Oh, there you go. I got it. Um, so it's that one. That's her usually her purse too, and then. Yeah. Um, I was just going to actually oh, there you go. and have her circle it on the actual exhibit. Your Honor, yeah, excuse me, it comes us so far away from the microphone, sometimes we can't hear it all completely. You can't hear this Yeah, voice. which is, you know, talking sometimes it does, okay. especially if she's speak up. So she usually wears this one too, she starts wearing that, and then also her, um, this one here, her Speedy. So that's what usually she wears. So looking at the photograph, it looks to be the third shelf. There's a... From the bottom. From the bottom, there's a purse in the middle with a gold buckle, and you pointed to that first, and then pointed to the purse to the right of that as the second other person that she would use. That's the one I usually see her wearing when they come over or um, oh, well, when when I see her. Which one? Th those two. Uh, usually it's the speedy one or um, the one right here. So those two. You said this, you pointed to the purse on the left, and then you reversed the purse. I'm sorry. First you referred to the purse on the right, and then you referred to the purse on the C correct. So s sometimes I see her. Um, mostly this one here, um, but then she start wearing this one too. So those two. Sorry. You said this one. It's, oh, how would you? What's the color? Would you describe that as a black purse? It's brown. Okay. They're both almost the same color. Yeah. But one of them has the buckle. Right. Basis. Yes. And the one without the buckle facing us. You would say was her primary purse? Yes. And then the one with the buckle that I can see was like her second favorite. Correct. Just when I see her with us, so I'm not 100% sure if she'd go out with her friends or anything like that, if she wears other purses too. But those two purses really seem to be ones that you would remember. Correct, yes. I just have to make sure that if someone's reading the transcript of this, they they know what we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> so I'm make a good record. Thank you, Your Honor. The one on the right that you referred to as being one that you saw her with a lot when you were with her, you I, you used a term, I think, when you described it. A speedy. Speedy? Yes. Okay. Are you saying speedy, S-P-E-E-D-Y? Correct, yes. And what, it, what type of bag is that? That's the name of the, the style of the purse. Does that carry a little bit more items in it? Is that, would that, is that a bigger bag than the bag with the buckle facing us? Correct, yes. And when you were there on the ninth, was the bed made? Like it is in the photograph? Or how was the bed different looking, if at all, on January 9th when you were there? That's calm down. On January 9th, when you were at the house, when you observed the, the main bedroom, did the bed look different than it does in the photograph in 2-26? Yeah, so, so there's just a fitted sheet. Um, it's on the, on the bed, and there's no pillows on it. So just a fitted sheet. When you arrived at the house and uh, Mr. Nete was there with the children, aside from him and the children, was there anyone else about us? No, just, yeah, just the, the three kids and Larry. When you got there, did you see, uh, well, strike that. After you called the police, 
you said that you spoke with a female a dispatcher. She told you to call the hospital first. What did you do after that? Well, after we found out, we, we couldn't find her. I called, um, I called the dispatcher, I mean, I called the CBPD again and then told them that um, to report the missing person and that we already called uh, different hospitals um, and the morgues um, and then some safe houses um, that I wanted to report the, a missing person. We, we waited um, we just waited for the you know, for them to come to the house about how do you recall about what time they arrived at the house um, about one one or two o'clock in the morning I exact I don't exactly know what time. Did you speak with the officers once they got there? Yes. Tell us a little bit about what happened when the police officers got there. So there's three officers that came. Um, I believe one female and two male officers. Um, then I told them my concern, my sisters, we haven't had any communication with her. and. Um, it seems like you know she's. We're worried that she, uh, she's missing. Well, we couldn't find her. Um, I did kind of whisper that um, something's wrong. Um, might have happened to her. Um, it might be. I don't recall if I did tell her. If I suspect, you know, Larry to have something to do with my sister, I don't recall. But I, I don't know. How long were the police at the house? It felt like they were just there for maybe about 30 minutes to an hour. It, it felt like they were there quick. What happened after they left? Then we waited, uh, me and my husband Richard stayed downstairs. Um, slept downstairs and um, Larry was upstairs with kids. Um, we could hear him just walking around, I mean walking upstairs and doing something upstairs. What was your, did you have a conversation with Larry after the police left? I don't recall. What was Larry's demeanor like after? He wasn't, like it was normal, he wasn't, like, he wasn't concerned about it, that, you know, that my sister hadn't came home yet and it's already late. Um, but, I, well, I, I, I kind of remember having him telling me I just don't know exactly when he told me, but he said that now you know your sister is doing this. She stays at the park. But yeah. but he he was he was not panicking or anything like that. He wasn't he doesn't seem worried about it. Were you did you find his reaction unusual at all? I, I do, because it feels like his, he's not concerned at all that she haven't come, that she haven't gone home. Did you have any other further conversation about where she might be? Uh, were, you, were you asking him questions or was it, kind of what was the he was just like between the two of you at that point? He was just saying, you know, she'll be, she'll, she'll come home. She'll be home, um, but all he could tell me is, you know, she probably at the park. Did you find that unusual that he would say she was at the park? I do, but 
at that time, I didn't really know what to think. I was just hoping she'll, she'll come home. Where did you sleep in the house? In the family room. Is that, uh, where is that room in relation to where the kitchen is? It's by the kitchen. I'm sorry, um, which room did you sleep in? By the family room. So not in a bedroom, we're just out in the family room? Yes. Like on the, on the couch or something? Correct, yeah, we slept in the couch. Showing you 2 16 up on the screen. Do you see the room that you slept in in that photograph? Yes. Can you describe it for us? Use the pointer. Cool. So there was a couch right here um, before. So it, it looks like this one was moved in the side. So there's a couch right here before so that's where that's where we slept so you're kind of pointing to an area that's sort of parallel to where the staircase comes down from upstairs almost parallel to if you were to continue walking towards the back you're saying mm -hmm. there was a couch kind of along that uh, correct that that section of that room off of the kitchen Correct. So it used to be um, like a there's a couch right here before. So that's where we slept. And um, right in front, yeah, right in front of the TV. So when she says right here, she's referring to that area you just described parallel to the stairs. There is a couch there. That's not the couch that was uh, facing the TV. doesn't look like it. It was more like darker. Yeah. And I was asking you about the tan couch that is visible in 2-16, but that's not the one. No, it was, it's, it's not there. It's, it's gone. And just looking at 2-17, do you see that mm -hmm same area kind of that we're looking at there's looks like there's kind of a tan chair just at the foot of the staircase into that tv room right do you rep do you recall seeing that chair in that room yeah so i'll correct myself it's yes and chair that i was talking about not a tan so that's part of the couch before, so there's, I believe there's one right there and there's another one next to it. So that's where we slept. Another, another one, what do you mean by that? A, a couch, another couch. Um, that was next to, it, it was, so that couch, I don't even, um, I'm not sure if that's always been there, but there's another couch next to it. That's where we usually, um, wh where we slept. Like, it's like almost like watching the TV. So like that way. If you were in the couch, you would be able to, you'd be facing the television. Correct. Okay. And you don't see that couch in this photograph? No. But that's where you slept the night of January the 9th? Correct. What happened on January 10th? Uh, January 10th, it, it was Lara's, uh, Lara's birthday, so I told every, I told my siblings on the messenger, come here, some, you know, just come here, everybody come here, something's wrong, so 
my siblings came to to the house. Um, we tried to celebrate Larry's birthday at that time, um, but we started to go to the neighborhood looking for my sister, um, going house to house, uh, seeing if they, they have any footage of of her um, or any footage at all, if they could uh, see it in their um, camera. So that's what we did. Did Larry assist with that search around the neighborhood? No, he was in the house. Where were the kids? Genesis took them to church that morning, and um, then after that they went to the park um, at the ending in the afternoon. Then you know we had a, a little you know a birthday cake for her, and we just kind of celebrate a little bit of, you know of her birthday. What what was what was Laura's demeanor like at that time? <laughs> We're talking about kind of a long period of time, so maybe be a little bit more specific. Thank you, Your Honor. From the time that you saw Lara when you got there on the 9th until the 10th, can you describe how, what was Lara's demeanor, or if it changed during that period of time? I didn't really notice that much. They, they, they were very playful. They were with their cousins, so they, you know, they were playing and um, so it varies, and well, she was sad a little bit. Um, I saw her again because we did had a a video of her um, at that time when we celebrated her birthday. Um, her blowing the candle uh, for her uh, birthday cake, but she was a little bit sad. stay the night again on January 10th? We went home. Did, during the course of 2020, had you had any conversations with your sister May about future plans that she had beyond January 7th, 2021? Aside from the Big Bear uh, planned, we were thinking of, well, I booked a trip to Hawaii and they were going to come with us, uh, I believe, in end of March. When you say they, who do you mean? Uh, her, the, her kids, and I'm not sure if you know, Larry was going to come, but um, she was planning on uh, coming with us to Hawaii. Uh, any other plans that you have spoken to her about for 2021? She wanted to go back to Italy to visit her friend Suzanne, um, so she wanted to do that. Um, but other than those, you know, big plans, um, I don't recall anything else. Her birthday that would have been in May of 2021, was that a significant birthday? She was um, turning 40. So she was planning, actually, I'm sorry, she was planning on going to the Grand Canyon to celebrate her birthday. In the days that you had seen May during that trip to Glamis, did she at all seem uh, different to you in terms of her demeanor such that she seemed depressed? Did she ever speak about, well, start there. Did she seem depressed? She's, yes, you know, she's sad. Um, but if they haven't, she had an argument with Larry. Um, but on the weekend, the New Year's weekend, she was more open. She was actually more open um, to us with the conversation that, you know, she she is ready to have to go through divorce. Did she at all 
did she ever speak about suicide? No. Uh, how important were May's friends to her? Did she have close friendships? Yes. Would you say, well, straight that, after the police got involved and after you left the house, how did, uh, did you continue to communicate with Larry? I believe so. And was that, um, how did that communication go? I mean, was it just uh, friendly? Was it cordial? Just, yeah, just normal. You know, like how we've always been you know, talking to each other on the phone. Did that change at any point? Not really. Did you, so you continued to talk to Larry throughout 2021? No. Um, the, first, the first week we were talking on the phone, um, when we started searching for my sister, Um, he told me to take care of that and he's going to take care of the kids um, so that was his technically his his job to take care of the kids and I'll take care of looking for my sister and did he still did you or your siblings still try to facilitate events or opportunities for the cousins to spend time together? Yes, yeah, so every day after um, my, miss, my sister was missing, we were actually at the house almost every day. Well, I would say every day. I just don't know when it got stopped. At some point, did it stop that you were having communication with Larry? Right, because he was... He was mad at us because we were in the, in the news and my husband started almost pointing fingers at Larry. So he was mad at that. And so communication stopped after that period of time when there was discussion in the media by your husband? Right. And also, he, Larry was able to get into my sister's Facebook account. So then he he saw all our message messages and to the group text messages, and he was getting mad at that. And then he also started to delete us. Sorry. He said Larry had gotten into the Facebook. Yeah. So he was he got into my sister's Facebook account, and so he saw all our messenger you know messages or text messages into the um on the group messenger and he was started to get mad at us and um he was actually replying to the messages that we were you know um just having that sibling conversations and um and then he started to unfriend um some of the family members from my sister's Facebook account. When he was communicating on the Facebook Messenger thread, was he doing it then under your sister's profile name? Correct. Did he identify himself that it was him talking? I don't recall, but the way his the messages were, it was from the message. The messages are from him context of the messages was such that you could identify that it was Larry who was sending the messages to you? Correct. How so? I mean, was there a reference to May? He was getting mad at the context in the, the messages because we have all the conversations that was we're saying, you know, like how probably it's, it's Larry that's maybe responsible for my sister. Now, 
you mentioned media and the search efforts. What did you do in terms of trying to mobilize search groups to help find your sister? <clears throat> I was desperate, so we have the media. Um, we were out with the media asking the public to help us find my sister. Um, so um, we have volunteers that came in and help us do the search and uh, put together a search effort to, to find her. And so did you begin actually going out with groups looking? Correct, yes. Uh, when? How, how quickly after? We had a search effort um, three days after, I believe it was Wednesday. Um, the 13th was our first search effort. Where did you search? At the um, Mount um, San Miguel Park. Where Cause is that? At, at, in Chula Vista. Where is that in relation to your sister's house? Uh, close to their house, a um, couple blocks from their house. Because he, we, we thought Larry said she went hiking, so in Mount Miguel Park there's a trail um, that she likes going to hike. Is that something your sister liked to do? Go Correct, ahead. yes. And how many searches after that would you say you were part of? Throughout 2021, 2022. The 2020, we were doing it almost every weekend, um, sometimes Saturday and Sunday, um, and then sometimes we do it also during the week. So it, it was a lot of search efforts. You said 2020, throughout 2020. Did you 20, I mean, 2021. So almost every weekend until, would you say throughout 2021? 2021, 2022, yeah. 2022 also. We, we did uh, probably our last search was October of 2022 um, and then there's still um, some people that's going searching too so yeah. did you go on television shows locally to try to get awareness out about your sisters disorder? yes I, I was pleading for help um, I was asking everybody to look out there for my sister. I wanted to bring her home. Did you go on some national news shows doing the same? We did, yes. What were some of those shows? We have um, Court TV, um, we have Good Morning America, um, we have um, Dr. Phil, um, Fox News, I believe, uh, Friends, and um, ABC, um, 48 Hours were also featured in my sister's story. Did you create a, a website to try to mobilize volunteers and information with regard to your sister? Um, it was a group effort for the website. I'm not, I'm not taking so. Um, it was actually my sister Jane and her husband did the, um, uh, the website, and her friend, um, her friend Allie did the Facebook page. Um, first day she went missing. And what were, were there? Was there a name for those pages, if you recall? Right, so for the Facebook page, we have uh, Help Find Maya, and also we do have a website, uh, helpfindmaya.com, and also there's imaya.org that was created by another friend. Did you or other volunteers involved with these search efforts um, obtain car magnets? Correct, yes, we did. What were the car magnets? It was a missing flyer that we have. Um, my brothers actually, you know, did that. My brothers, uh, Mike and and JP, we were giving it. Um, uh, we were using them. 
what what exactly were the car magnets? Explain what those are. It has the missing um, m- missing Maya and her pictures and also information on who to call. Did you post flyers? Everywhere that we know, yeah. Where did you post flyers? Uh, all over San Diego area. Um, we went to the desert also, to the Glamis area. We asked volunteers to post it for us. We, I was giving out flyers um, every, everywhere, not just I, but the whole team and you know, all the vol- vol- volunteers that came and helped us. I'm showing you 25-1. May I approach the witness, Your Honor, to show her 25-1 on the exhibit? Yes. Do you recognize 25-1 in the binder to be the same uh, photo? Yes, that's our uh, the first flyer that we printed, possibly January eleventh, or yeah, the January eleventh. That was the first well, flyer that we printed. Did you post flyers in Hawaii? Yes. Tell us about that. As, you know, as I mentioned earlier, we did have that plan to go to Hawaii, so you know, we took that um, um, vacation, so we did um, had a, a flyer and we also put a, what we call, um, a hunk for support, so we have banners, um, yeah, drive at banners and um, we did a prayer for her at um, one of the uh, park right there too and we have a banner and I also did um, a a news uh, report there too so I was in their local news. You were in the local news in Hawaii at that time? Correct, yes. And looking at 25-6 in front of you if we wouldn't mind turning to that letting us know if that's the same two flyers that we see printed up on the screen. It does exhibit 25-6? Yes. And one of them says, Drive, Honk, Yell, Wave, Saturday, April 3rd. What is that flyer for? That's the one with the, um, it's an awareness that we wanted to do in Hawaii too. Um, she's you know, we're from Hawaii, so her friends from Hawaii help us out to, to do that, just kind of like have an awareness that in any case she might be in Hawaii, you know, uh, we want to bring that, uh, she's still missing. And then the flyer on the right that says missing May Tabalanza, let uh, team help find Maya in Hawaii, what is that flyer? So we, um, that's what we did also the following day. Uh, we did a prayer at the Alamoana Park. Uh, we have a banner there too, and um, uh, just friends and family and um, whoever came and uh, support us um, for a prayer for her. Uh, and what was the purpose of these two events in Hawaii? Just to bring awareness that um, she's missing and just, you know, we're um, putting a word out there just um, to make sure, if just in case she might be out there, you know, just um, keep an eye. And then um, looking at um, 25-9, this is a screenshot, again, uh, is this the same? 25-9 that's in the binder in front of you? Yes. What are we, uh, this is a screenshot, what are we looking at in this exhibit? It was, um, uh, we have an interview with Dr. Phil. And did he do a segment on his show? Correct, yes. Okay. And the Dr. Phil show, is that a national show? Correct, yes. Uh, and then to the kind of, as we look at the screen, it says, Vanished, where's Maya? 
there appear to be several pictures of your sister. To the right, there's a kind of a television screen. Who's on that screen? It's me and my husband, Richard. What are you wearing? Uh, the t-shirt, the Missing My t-shirt that we have printed and distributed. Yes. I uh, just want to make sure. <laughs> uh, what is it that we're looking at in this uh, exhibit? That's a picture that we put up um, for our website of findmaya.com. That's me putting flyers on the sidewalk, San Diego. And this is uh, dated August 6th. This, is this a photograph on the Help Find Maya Facebook page? Yes. And what kind of information would be posted on the Help Find Maya Facebook page? Um, different activities that we it's going on you know what we're doing for her our search efforts and um, again asking for volunteers to come and help us search for my sister Yes. And do you see your sister's picture uh, on the cover of this photograph of People magazine? Yes. And uh, where is she? It's just um, with the um, red uh, squared box. And that red squared box was not on the actual cover, correct? I mean, in other words, the People magazine cover did not have a red box around your sister's picture. No, not that I know. Were you familiar, or did you have the opportunity to see that your sister was on the cover of People magazine? I saw that, yes. And just after all of these search efforts and appearances, have you been able to find your sister? Yeah. Have you, what was the last time you heard from your sister? Oh, when you, last time you saw her in person? January 3. And have you had any contact, communication from your sister since that time? No. Thank you. I have no other question. Thank you, Anne. I think she's just trying to compose herself. She was crying a little bit. It's okay. Thank you. Here's a cup here. Oh. I'm good. Thank you. She may not need the exhibit. Let's move that. Oh, thank you so much. That's good. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Should I proceed, Joanna? Or? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you.
Do you mind if I just call you Mary Chris? No, I don't. Okay. Good afternoon, Mary Chris. You testified about when you don't actually count, so why don't you refer to her by her last name? Is that too loud, Jana? Is it too loud? No, no, I just said refer to her by her last name. Oh, okay. How, how do you pronounce your last name? Drulay. Drulay? Okay, thank you. Ms. Drulay, good afternoon. You testified about your life in Hawaii and your, children, your siblings and your parents and your work. Was there any time while you were residing in Hawaii that your sister May resided with Larry's family? I know she was going over to their house, um, but I don't know exactly if she resided there. She still, she was still going at school. So um, I remember just going there after school or something. Was your sister working at McDonald's at that time? Yes. What year was that? I don't recall. And so with you working full time, you said your father, and I believe you said your brother was also working part time. Yes. So your sister May was also working about the same time? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And isn't it true that Larry Miletti and Maya May Miletti were working at the same McDonald's restaurant at that time? They did at one, one time. I just don't know exactly when. Um, when is it? Do you have an idea of how long they were working at McDonald's? No. I know they met at McDonald's. I just don't know how long they worked together. All right. And they did get married in Hawaii, correct? Correct. After the wedding, where did they recite? At Larry's, par I, I believe, where they were residing. At yeah. Larry's, Larry's house or wh wherever they were residing. I, I never went to that, you know, to their place in Hawaii. Is it your testimony then that after the wedding you didn't see your sister anymore? No. At the time you were in Hawaii, residing there, and then Larry and May got married. You don't know where they resided. I don't know their place, no. I've never been to their place. Is it fair to say you didn't visit them at that time after the wedding? Yes. While your sister was attending school in Hawaii, you said, I believe, that she was residing with you? What school? What high school? Grade school or college? College. I believe when Larry left for his training, then she came, she came back to us to where we were living at that time. Do you recall what year was that? No. How long after Larry left did your sister reside with you? I don't really remember exactly how long. Do you remember when your sister left to join Larry and uh, Virginia? I remember her leaving because I dropped her off at the airport. I just don't recall when um, and what year. I, her, I don't recall. Did you, do you remember where in Virginia was your sister going to live after you took her to the airport? No. You don't know? No, I don't. After your sister arrived in Virginia, did you have communications with her? Yes. Okay, tell me about that. How often? 
I don't recall、uh, how often we were talking. I mean, she's she was in Virginia.、Um, I I don't know. Maybe once a week or so. I I'm just gonna be guessing. Did you have an understanding after your sister left for Virginia about her、um, relationship with her husband? But they have a good relationship at that time, yes. So, May told you that the relationship between May and Larry was good. She didn't tell me. No. Did she describe it? No. You? Were you concerned about her at all at that time when she was residing in Virginia? No. So at that time, when you remained in Hawaii, and they are here in Virginia, in Virginia, there was no group telephone. I don't think there's Facebook at that time. I don't remember having a Facebook. Okay. So there was no communication between siblings, and、uh, no phone calls. No. No letter writings. No. Well, there's telephone, but I. Don't know. There's no messenger or anything like that. There's no text messages or anything like that. Okay. So, who amongst your siblings was the very first one who left Hawaii?、Um, my brother JP. Okay. When JP left Hawaii, where did he go?、Uh, My California here in、um, Venice Park. Did JP reside with Larry and Maya? No. When he arrived in California. Not that I know of. Anyone from your siblings, when they arrived in California, did they reside with Larry and Maya? Not that I know. Did Genesis and Jr. reside with Larry and Maya at any time when they are living here in California? Yes, they did. Tell us when that is. I believe it's twenty、uh, nineteen. But、uh, Jr. and Genesis was from LA, and when Genesis got a job here in San Diego, then that's when they moved to. San Diego and resided with、uh, Larry and Maya. I just don't know how long. So they resided here while Larry and Ma- and May was already residing Paseo Elgar. Correct. Los、yes. Gatos. Okay. Correct. And they already have the three children at that time. Yes. Were you in communication with Genesis and your brother while we they have, were residing? We have the. Group chat, so、okay. that's our main communication. So that would be twenty nineteen, right? Correct. Okay. So your brother and his wife residing with Larry and Maya, and who else was residing in that house at that time? With Genesis、um, and my brother Jared's kids,、uh, Micah and James. Okay.、So、and also,、uh, I believe Larry's parents were there too. So there would be how many people in that house, if you recall? So then there's two, four, including the kids or just the adults? Including the children.、So、two. Twelve. Twelve. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Yeah, twelve. So twelve,、uh, in that household. Correct. Did you visit them at that time? No. Well, I I shouldn't. I I don't remember. Recall. I don't know if I did or not. Was there ever an occasion during that time, wherein your brother and his wife called you in twenty nineteen to report any problems with Larry and May? Not that I know. Okay. 
Well, you mentioned about marital problems that you had observed Larry and May were experiencing. So when did that start? I don't know when that started. Um, it just got um, more obvious um, in 2020. When you say obvious, what do you mean by that? Uh, you could tell they were fighting. They, they would have some arguments and um, my sister would just get mad or Larry probably just get mad too. Um, yeah, just a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, that they have a, you, you could actually tell that they're having an argument. Well, my understanding was based on what you stated earlier that you really didn't go to their house in 2020 because of maybe COVID or? Well, there was no reason for us to be going there because most of the, um, if we do get together, it's always, it's been through camping or they come to, they rather come to my house or they go to my sister's house in Cerritos or in Lakewood. So we do have birthday celebrations. Uh, a lot of times we celebrate it in either of those three houses. But not in Paseo Los Gatos. No, only one we do have, maybe like if we do celebrate um, the kids' birthday, then we go to, to their house. So you wouldn't really be able to assess how messy or how clean their house was in 2020, right? Not in 2020, yeah. You mentioned about Larry's parents residing with them. Do you know when they started residing with Larry and May? No, I don't. Do you have an idea how long they've been there? Maybe more than five years. Would it be fair to say that Larry's mother moved in with them when Lara was born? No. Lara's, when Lara was born, uh, they were in Morietta. They were living in Morietta. All right. And what year was Lara born? 2010. And were you, were you living in California at that time? Yes. And you visited Larry and May at their home in Morietta? Yes, we used to live there for a few months. Oh, you live with Larry and May in Morietta for a few months? Yes. S so what year did you live there? October 20, 2005 to, I believe, February or March of 2006. For about six months you stayed with them? Past yeah. And they didn't have any children then, right? No. And the relationship was great? At that time. They have arguments, but it's just usual, you know, arguments. Serious arguments? S serious arguments or just ordinary, you know, getting irritated at each other? In a way, um, we felt that we were not welcome at the house, um, staying at the house. Um, I have two kids then. I have a two-year-old and a 10 months old, and my 10 month is um, pulling everything out from the kitchen cabinet. Um, and it seemed like at that time, Larry didn't like that. Um, so, um, I, I, it felt like we were not welcome there. The house was, you know, it, it was cold when it was winter. The, the windows are opened. Um, and I know they had an argument because my sister, that's the reason why we left too. And I got a house because um, 
we needed to move out. Um, it felt like Larry didn't want us there. Is that your feeling or did Larry or Maya tell you he didn't want you to be residing with them? Not exactly, but yeah. Um, she, they have an argument regarding that. Um, it felt like she, they would be in the master bedroom and she would be crying. And then at one point, um, she told him that he was, she would still pick her family over, over him. At that time, if I'm not mistaken, you stated that you and your two kids were residing there. Did you have, were you married to Richard already at that time? No. Okay. And so it was only the three of you that resided with them? My mom and my dad too. Oh, okay. So, um, did you move in with your mom and dad at the same time with Larry and me? Right. So we moved from Hawaii uh, with my two kids and my mom and my dad. All right. And when you moved out from their house and purchased your own house, did your parents move in with you? Correct, yes. And where did you move? Lake Elsinore. When you left Larry and May's residence, did you have resentment against Larry at that time? No. No. He's, he's a family. He has, I felt like he had, that's his right. Um, that's his house. So, you know, respect that. Um, and, um, you know, why I was thankful too, because I was able to purchase my own house. Did you pay rent? to Larry and May while you were residing there with your parents? Um, I paid for um, the utilities. And is, how about the groceries? Well, we, yeah, we um, buy groceries too. You didn't pay rent? No. You didn't pay utilities, correct? I paid, uh, I was paying the utilities. Okay. Was it, was Larry resentful because you didn't pay rent? Not that I know of, no. Did your parents pay rent? Did they Sustain. Okay. Uh, so after you moved to Alex Elsinore, did you have a good relationship with Larry? Yeah. Can you describe that relationship? That's, you know, a family, his uh, brother-in-law, so they, you know, they still come over, um, they play with, you know, my kids. I mean, there's no, you know, there's nothing hard feeling, you know, hard feeling about us moving out. In fact, at the time that you stayed with them, you personally observed Larry and May as husband and wife, correct? Yes. That's 2019. Can you describe the relationship at that time? Well, they didn't have kids yet. I mean, they go work, you know, come home, and it was, you know, regular, I guess, like, relationship. Um, but after a while, I think they were just kind of, like, arguing, too. So I, they, usually when they do argue, they, that's a, it, they don't show it to us. So you wouldn't know? I would be able to tell because, you know, I could hear screaming in the, you know, from the uh, bedroom. They, you could actually tell because they're arguing in the bedroom. Closed door, though. Besides occasional arguing or arguing with each other, did you see them caring for each other? No. So Glary was not loving to me at that time? Oh, no, no. I mean, it's regular, I guess, on and off. Did May cook for the family? At Once in a while. She's, you know, she's not the best cook. So, yeah, we usually just do a takeout orders or uh, my mom and my dad actually was the one that cooking 
uh, when we were living with them. Okay. And your mom was still healthy at that time? Well, she, yes. Right, and then... Uh, I just wanted to call clarification. When you stated that Larry was not caring towards Maya, can you explain that? Can you go back to, you know, like your question? I, I, I misheard her. Um, okay. uh, Let me and, and the, question. The, the caring part, I didn't hear her exactly saying caring. I thought it was almost like killing, so. <laughs> but, <laughs> Earlier I asked if Larry was caring towards Maya. Did he take care of Maya? In a way, yeah, and like a husband would do. Can you describe that? Mm. Objection made against time. I think we're talking about we're in 2005? 2005 to 2006. When the, are you asking about the period in which she was that, living with them? Your Honor, we're still in that time frame when they were residing there for her to have this direct observation because she testified okay, after that. That's, yes, during the period where you were staying with them. Um, yeah, it, it's, you know, he doesn't like do like foot massages or anything like that, but you know, just regular, you know, just they do their own thing, go to work and, um, you know, um, um, take care of the house. Um, he's very um, neat, uh, so he usually does a lot of cleaning. So, but to the point where she he had to serve her food or anything like that, but um, nothing like that. Just a you know, regular husband and wife relationship. At the same time, was your sister May working? Yes. Where was she working? Um, I, I believe she was breaking at uh, Balboa Hospital at that time. That would be 2005, 2006? Correct, yes. How about Larry? Where was he working at that time? Uh, I believe Bal Balboa also, Balboa Hospital. So both of them worked at the same location? Right, but I... <laughs> She was also working one of the law office too. I just don't recall exactly when um, she was working at the bubble hospital, so I, I wouldn't know. I yeah don't yeah I, I wouldn't remember. I don't remember exactly when. Okay. Do you recall them moving out of the Morietta house? Objection relevance. Counsel. Well, Your Honor. Did open the door by asking about the sequence, the sonics. <laughs> yes, she did ask for the sequence. The well. sonics. What is the relevance? Well, you know, she. I just wanted to establish how well she really know Mr. Milady, because she's basing her opinions about her knowledge of Mr. Milady. Okay, well, your testimony is you know Mr. Millet fully well, is that correct? Not, not fully well. I, I mean, his, um, it, that was the only time we lived with, with them uh, from 2000, as I said, October 2005 to, you know, March of 2006. Um, and it's not even 24 hours because he works and I work night shift too. So sometimes, you know, we don't even see each other at that time. Um, but overall, you know, between then um, and, you know, 2021, 20, you know, we see them during birthdays and parties and get together with the family. There was a complaint from May to you regarding Larry, correct? 
I'm sorry. Around 2019, 2020, your sister May had complaints to you regarding her husband, Larry. Is that correct? I don't know exactly. I mean, can you be more specific, though? Did May complain or criticize Larry to you? In 19, let's do 2019 first. Well, there's here and there complaints, of course, you know, his um, his um, well, there's you know, some complaints. Well, I don't know. It, um, How about in the year 2020? We're going to take our break right now. Okay, Hannah. We're going to take a 15 minute recess. Thank you, Hannah.
She'll turn it on. I'm not sure what that means. and the defendant are present. The witness is on the stand. Uh, you may continue with your cross examination. Thank you, Yana. Mr. Ole, uh, let's continue. And okay, you have known Mr. Larry Miletti for at least about twenty years, correct? So, Did she answer yes. During the last 20 years that you've known him, observed him, lived with him sometime, did you ever observe Mr. Miletti committing domestic violence against May Miletti? Nothing that I've seen. It, to your knowledge, did any of your siblings ever complain about observing Mr. Milete committing domestic violence against your sister? So when you say... Counsel, a, a calls for hearsay. Excuse me, Anna? A calls for a hearsay response. Oh, okay. So um, I'm going to interpose my own objection. I asked you earlier if Miss uh, Valeri complained to you in 2019 about her husband, and you, I believe, said you don't remember. It, it's there's um, you know 2019. I don't really recall most of the conversation. You know, we have I have with my sister. Um, but there's always been like on and off during um, when we do get together um, complaints yeah, about Larry or I complain about yeah um, well she would actually say like um, very controlling um, she doesn't have she doesn't have any anything. She doesn't have freedom with her finances. She couldn't buy anything but to go through Larry. Um, just little stuff that she, can, she complains about. 
Anything else? Not, I can't recall right now. Okay. Did those complaints, uh, did you discuss with her those complaints? How to fix that or give her advice? Council, can you lower your microphone? Your oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I do have, <laughs> try to wear this, Your Honor. Can you hear me better? I'm not sure which one's going to work better, but let's. Is this better, Yana? Which one are we using now? Which one? Is that one? Okay. okay. Oh, no. If you can take it off. Excuse me, Yana, for a second. Can you hear me, Yana? No? Excuse me, Anna? Is That's that better? Good. Yes, it is. Okay. And lower it a little bit. Is that yes. it? Okay. Is that better? For now. Let's go. Okay, thank you. So are those complaints that you just recited just now in 2019? Were they fixed? Did they get better? Did they get worse? I don't know. I, I can't tell. Um, 20, 20 was worse, so I don't know if it, it, it got better or worse but I mean it, it got better but it looks like it got worse their relationship got worse so um, I don't think I mean if I did advise her I can't recall exactly you know what would be my advice or what would be the topic it, uh, topic of our conversation is um, just a, a sister a friend would tell somebody if they're you know, asking for advice, um, I would let her know, um, like a regular conversation. But um, 2020, uh, their relationship, um, they got worse. Well, what was your understanding in reference to Mr. Miletis controlling May? How, how did you, did you get a full uh, knowledge of that, or it was just in passing. She would tell me here and there, um, you know, finances. Uh, she can't even. I remember telling her, telling me that every time she uses her credit card, um, Larry would know how much it's, you know, how much is being charged. Um, I remember her when we went on sh we went shopping. Um, she used her card um, and she, she she paid for my stuff so when I so I she I could give her cash back for whatever my part is so she can have some cash with her um, she would um, well in 2020 she said uh, Larry wanted to know where where her whereabouts is, um, whereabouts where she is. Um, he will be well. Just one example: when we went to Parker, he was he didn't come with Parker down in um, Parker, California. We went out um, with the kids and my sister and my sister May uh, for a couple days. We were at the river, and he was calling you know, calling her um, almost every hour or calling the kids that uh, wanted to know what they're doing. Um, he wanted to know every, uh, I guess, uh, um, what they're up to or something. So is that your understanding of his, Mr. Miletti's controlling behavior? In a way, yes. Okay. 
Um, you mentioned about you and May would go shopping. How, how often did that occur in 2020? Oh, I don't know. Um, I just remembered, um, I think that would be my last shopping day with her in October of uh, 2020. Um, when they do come over to our house, um, sometimes we go out um, once in a while, just go to the outlet for shopping, but not, not often. We try not to. And that was in 2020? Correct, yes. Do you recall an occasion where you and May went shopping and she purchased a thousand dollars worth of shoes? Uh, yes, that's including my shoes. Um, <laughs> oh, so wow. that it's, that's what I was talking about, that it was actually a combination of mine and my daughter's and my daughter and her shoes, so yes. So can you explain that a little bit? Because I'm a little not clear. So you went out shopping for shoes and May purchased some shoes, but the total amount of $1,000 was really not all spent for May's shoes. Is that? Correct, so she paid uh, for all our uh, purchases. She put it in, in the card and um, whatever my part of the, um, the purchase, I paid her, ca I gave her cash. Do you recall how much cash you gave her during that time? Um, I believe it's uh, maybe about uh, 300 to 400 because it was the, it was kind of price issue. It was, we were at, at um, I'm sorry, my husband's name is listen. <laughs> <laughs> a few hundreds for each shoes and we got a few shoes this couple of shoes and they were probably about uh, I probably gave her like 400 to 500 dollars for a couple of shoes and um, those charges that May had put on the credit card were paid by her husband is that what you're saying she used uh, the credit card uh, to purchase for the entire purchase between me and her. Yeah. So I, I don't know who, you know, who's, that's their credit card that I, I understand that, you know, she uses. Did May tell you that Larry would pay for the credit cards because she told you that she did not have access to their accounts? She didn't tell me that he is going to pay, but I know it's from their, uh, you know, it's their credit card. So I'm assuming it's their combined account. Well, what was your understanding about the control that Larry was putting on her related to their finances? He will find out everything. Uh, I mean, all like her purchases, he, you know, he knows all whatever my sister would purchase or whatever she put it on the, in, in the card. Um, and I was surprised she doesn't have that much, you know, does, she doesn't have any control of that. Were you concerned during the time that she was borrowing $10,000 that you would not be repaid back? I wasn't concerned about at that time. Um, for my siblings and I, we're always supporting each other, um, even financially. Um, by that time, we did. I, you know, I, I was willing to give her that money just to help her out. Did your husband know about? Yes. Um, at that time, when I received the text message from her, we were actually in a car um, going home from Glamis. And um, I told her, I told him 
uh, that my sister is going to be borrowing the money and he agreed to it that we are going to give her uh, whatever she was asking. Did your sister indicate to you when she was going to pay you back? No. And you didn't mind if she didn't pay you back, correct? I didn't care. Okay. Um, that's what we usually do with my brothers and my sisters. Again, we, we support each other. Was that the first time she asked to borrow money from you? Yes. Do you know how much your sister's salary was in 2020? I don't know exactly, but she did mention she was able to get 150 at that time because she was doing a lot of hours too. So she did mention that, but I don't know exactly how much she makes. But your, your understanding was just a big amount around $150,000. Uh, she, she, she mentioned she was she made that amount. Did she tell you how much her husband was making at that time? No, but no. But you knew you, her husband was making less than her? Correct. Did you ask her why she did not control, why she gave all the control of the money to her husband? No, I didn't. No. Okay. You mentioned about Larry. Well, strike that. Let, let me go to your testimony regarding your sister. You testified that your sister is very smart, intelligent, and an honor student. Is that right? Correct, yes and that um, she, she was the smart one in the family. Correct. And she was top of the class. Yes. And she is very active in, she's active physically. Correct, yes. And you didn't know whether she was suffering from any illnesses? No. She didn't tell you that she was depressed? No. So in 2020, when you, um, when Mr. Miletti told you about what's going on with their marital problems, you didn't know your sister was depressed or anxious or? She doesn't seem that way. Okay. So what did you understand her state of mind was in 2020? during that time when they were arguing, fighting, regarding marital issues? I'm not sure exactly what you're, like, what's her behavior like, or I don't. Well, did she say, did she tell you, I'd like to leave, I would not, I don't want to sleep with him, I would like to go somewhere, I want to go. What was her state of mind? I want to travel. What we were vague as to time, 2020 as a that's the 2020, Your Honor, when all these marital issues, according to her, got worse. Well, just <clears throat> but we were going out a lot. Uh, we were doing camping. Um, we were going to Glam as we were going riding. We were in Lake Havasu. We were in Parker. Um, that's the only, you know, and we were doing, you know, birthday celebrations. So that's basically the time I would actually be with her and, and see her. So during those times, you know, she doesn't exhibit to be, you know, depressed or anything. I mean, um, so sometimes, you know, she would be on her phone or just texting, but. You know, most of the times we were doing some activities when, you know, when we were with her. And she was happy doing those activities, correct? Yeah, she has, she has her moments too. Yeah. Well, you mentioned an incident where I believe you were 
camping somewhere, Lake Havisu. So, we, yes, um, we went. Just answer the question that she's asking. And you describe Larry was quiet, or were they fighting all through that trip, camping trip? Uh, which one are you referring to? Okay, so let, let me clarify the question. This is 2020, right? And you made those trips. I believe you recited each one of the trips. And let me just take a look at the, um, the exhibit, Your Honor, just to make it clear. I do have an exhibit, Your Honor. I believe it's exhibit 3 4, 3 4. We have a book that. Uh, I can help her look for it, Your Honor. Here's the link. We took it. Okay. You can approach. Can I approach her? Here, I think it might be best if she actually used the actual exhibit yeah. versus okay. council's copy. Right. Ms. Martinez, I can show her the court's exhibit and you can retrieve like, your copy. I can give this to her yeah. and get, get my copy. On Exhibit 3-4, where you testified that this trip was in May 25, 2020? That's what... Um, Is that the right date? Well, I don't exactly recall. Uh, I mean, we I know we want to, you know, like, it looks like Lake Elsinore, that's, you know, this was tagged in, yeah. So, but you don't recall if that's the correct date when you went to Lake Elsinore in 2020. That this picture was taken. Yes. If it's if this one is taken to um, and it was on the Facebook page, then uh, or if it's tagged, then yeah, it's taken in that day for this picture, yeah. Well, did you have an independent recollection of the date you went there, or were you relying on the date that is stamped on the exhibit? Well, I have a recall. You know, I knew we went um, on the I believe the twenty fifth or whatever that weekend on that Memorial Day weekend. So whatever that day falls. So you went on Memorial Day? Mem Memorial holiday that weekend. Maybe we stayed there two or three days, uh, or maybe two, two nights or two days. OK. And you had May and the children there? Correct, yes. And was that occasion when you said that Larry and May would go, went, went in the car and went and argued or something like that? No, not this incident, no. Not in this, um, uh, we, um, not in, in this date. Um, we were in Lake Havasu. That's when I was referring to when um, they would go out. Um, it's the same, you know, we have the same trail, the trailer, we, we have it there too. So, you know, a lot of times we're in the trailer. 
but Larry and May, when they do argue, they will take the car or yeah, take the car and leave the camp area, the campsite. And um, I, I, I was assuming because they were arguing, um, and she did kind of mention, you know, she did mention that they were arguing. Um, they would leave the camp area, and then they come back after uh, you know a, an hour or two. So. In 2020, how many times did you travel to Lake Havasu? If you recall. If you recall. Um, two or three. I, uh, I don't know. We, we did it a few times. Maybe two. Do you recall those dates or those two times you went? We did um, Milan's birthday, so it's the end of June to uh, July uh, for one or two. And I believe we went again in September, that another um, holiday. Uh, whatever the holiday in September is. Which of those two dates did you observe Larry and May go a little bit away from the group and was gone for what, an hour to an hour and a half? Which of those two did they do that? The one in um, the June, July uh, uh, time during the celebration of Melanie's birthday? Correct, yes. Okay. And you described that they were arguing and fighting and then they decided to go a little bit far from the camp. Is that right? They're not like fighting, but then they would, you know, they would, if they wanted to talk, they just leave the camp. And you didn't know where they went? No. And is it accurate to say they were away for over an hour? Maybe. I don't, you know, I didn't keep track of the time. And when they returned to the camp, can you describe their demeanor? They're, it looks like they always kind of work it out. You know, um, together they they don't show that they're you know, they're fighting or anything. Um, guess uh, they don't want to show their family. So after they left and returned to the camp, there was a change in their behavior and attitude towards each other. Like things were okay and peaceful, or were they still growling at each other? They're not rolling, they're, you know, talking, you know, it's not like a big argument or anything. They will be talking, um, but they, it's, it's not like a big argument kind of thing. Um, they kind of talk it out among, among them, um, but they don't show it that they're having some issues or they're having some problems. There was no indication that their marital status was in danger. No, well, to me, I wasn't really paying attention um, um, at that time. Um, I didn't believe, you know, they're having some issues, but I, because in the back of my mind, they've been married for so long and. I knew they would be able to work it out among them, among, uh, among themselves. Was that the same sentiment displayed by your siblings during that time? I can't talk about, you know, how they feel or, you know, how they are. I mean, how they felt about it. Uh, the reason I ask is because you testified earlier that you were all communicating often enough to see what's going on with your family. And I believe, to me, it appeared that the family, your family, 
side was very close and the communication between all of you were really shared with all the family members. Am I mistaken in thinking that? Objection, relevance, and calls for hearsay. Sustain, relevance, hearsay. Um, well, let me ask her a fresh it. question, Your Honor. In May of 2020, you didn't know that May left Larry and the kids? And no, I didn't, I didn't know. And stayed with uh, your brother, JR, in Genesis? I just learned about it after. The entire time that May and May resided with your brother in Genesis, you did not find that out? No. So when did you discover that May left Larry and the kids? I don't know. I don't recall exactly when. Um, it might be during conversations with some of the siblings, but we it, it's not indicated on to like our messenger or anything like that, that it was, um, I, I don't think she, once the family knew, the whole entire family knew that she moved out. Is it true that JR did not tell you that May was residing with him at that time in May and June of 2020? I don't recall if he did or not. You don't recall, or do you recall that Genesis mentioned it to you that May left Larry and the kids and was residing with, with them? Objection relevance. And your side sustained. In, in May, May 25, when you were at Lake Havasu, was Larry there? Lake El Havasu or Lake, uh, Lake Elsinore? You're talking about two different ones, though. This May 25, 2020, Lake Elsinore, was Larry there? Now that I think about it, I don't think he was there. Did you know why he was not there? I, I think I'm not 100% sure. Um, I, I, I don't want to. Because there's like some occasions that he, she would say he's not invited. So I'm not sure if that's, you know, one of the occasions that, you know, she didn't want him to come. When you say she, are you referring to me? My, my sister, yeah. Okay. And there were occasions when you would go for trips or go to the desert. Your sister would tell you she would not invite Larry. When we went, when we were in Parker um, for that trip, um, she didn't want him to to come with us. Did me want to? invite Larry for the planned trip to Big Bear on January 8th or January 9th? I'm assuming the whole family is going because it's Mila, uh, Larry's birthday. I don't know if she was planning to invite him or not. Did Larry tell you whether he was invited or not during that time? I'm not sure. How about the trip to Lake Elsinore in September 2020? Was Larry invited to that trip? I I have to look at the pictures. I don't really recall if he was there or not. Which trip are you referring to again, Council? Excuse me, Your Honor? Which trip was this? Oh, this is the, the Big Bear trip that was scheduled uh, for January the 8th. Oh, you're not sure if Larry was invited to go to uh, the Big Bear trip in January? No.
When you were speaking to May on or about January 7, 2021, did she cancel the trip to Big Bear? Your Honor, she testified that they were expecting to go to Big Bear and they did not know that whether they were going or not. Now, I believe the witness testified or mentioned. I'll, I'll overrule the objection. Okay. You can rephrase, but okay. you, you can ask, you can inquire as to that area, that issue. You remember speaking to your sister? May on January 7, 2021, regarding the trip to Big Bear. Did she say anything to you that's important? Objection compound. Regarding. Did she say anything? Overall. Make my ruling before you continue. I'm sorry, Anna. You can answer. I don't recall talking to her on January 7 about the trip uh, we have the mess we communicated through the messenger so I don't recall calling her or talking to her uh, directly but you recall speaking to May on January 7 2021 is that correct I'm sorry I didn't hear you do you do you recall today that you spoke to May on January 7 2021 no I don't At any point, did she indicate a desire to cancel that trip? That was set for uh, the weekend of uh, the 8th. Not at all. Did you believe May when she told you that she did not have any control over their finances? Yes. Isn't it true that Larry had a habit of calling and calling your sister, their kids, and even you and your family many times? Isn't that what Larry would do? It's just his habit of calling and calling? Not that I know of. They just started at uh, the 2020. Um, he barely called us before that, uh, 2019 and before. Uh, he started calling everybody, uh, calling us in 2020. Um, so it's not really a habit uh, if you're talking about years, but 2020 when he started calling everybody. So it was really unusual for us, um, for me, especially um, for him to be calling so a, a lot of times um, during that, you know, during that time more than, well, I, would, I shouldn't be more than usual, but we hardly, we hardly actually call, he actually, he, I'm sorry, take it back, he hardly called us um, before 2020. So there was a noticeable frequency of Larry's phone calls to you and the rest of your family in 2020? Correct. It was that the entire year of 2020? I would say so, but mainly for like half the year for me or maybe in April or May or something like that for me. Um, but he talks more often to either my brother JR or my brother JP. How about your father? And my dad, yes. How about your mother? Not my mom. Did you have an understanding why Larry would call your brothers and your father? He wanted Frequently in 2020? Not asking for the statement, but 
this witness may lack the foundation to give that answer. So, lack of foundation to say. Well, let me just rephrase this, John, and clarify it. You were made aware of the fact that Larry was calling your brothers and your father frequently. Did you learn why he was doing that? He is, again, they've been having issues with my sister, so I knew he was asking help from everybody. And um, he wanted to, I guess, get some advice you know, from all the siblings and my so, dad. Sorry. Okay. No, go ahead. Uh, no, I was going to add my siblings and my dad. He was calling, you know, every, almost, well, yeah, every single one of us. So not only was Larry seeking advice from you, he was also seeking advice from the other siblings, your other siblings, and your father. Is that a fair statement? Correct. Do you recall discussing Larry and May's problems regarding their marital issues with your brothers and your father? The calls that were made by Larry to your brothers and your father, when was that? When did it start? I have no idea. Um, I don't have a specific um, time frame, time for that. I don't really know. What about specifically to you? Do you remember the dates that Larry started calling you frequently to seek for your help and advice? Not really. I don't, um, it's, through, I don't know exactly when in 2020 I started doing that. When Larry was calling you, did it appear to you that he was desperate? Yes. Or what was, what was the tone of his voice when he was calling you? It's, it's, well, to me, it was normal. I mean, just trying to get the conversation and trying to get, you know, some help and advice, um, primarily help, I guess. But, well, throughout the conversation, sometimes we, if you tell somebody and what you think and give them advice, and yet they're not following your advice. <laughs> So that's the whole conversation. It's like you tell him something and, and yet it's not being done. Um, so that's, that's kind of that conversation that we actually have, you know, with, with Larry. But it's, to us, it, it felt like over time in 2020, it felt that, you know, he does needed help and he does needed advice from us. And at the same time, we thought like he really needed, you know, someone to talk to. Did you tell him to seek professional advice? No. Did you tell him to speak to your sister? Of course, yes. And did that happen? I had no idea. Why do you say that Larry and May's marital problems progressed and escalated in 2020?
let me rephrase you, Anna. I was talking about you. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, well, they, you know, they had, we could actually tell they have more, you know, they have arguments. Um, again, with the phone calls Larry was making, um, so it was obvious that there's something going on, you know, with, with, uh, with the relationship. Um, whether we're, you know, in a, a get together, they'll be arguing, um, but which usually didn't happen before 2020. So um, then that's, that's when it started, we knew um, something was wrong, but at the same time, we were hoping they'll be able to work it out. Did you hear them when they were arguing? No. Well, not exactly, no. So you don't really know if it progressed or stayed the same or got better, is that right? One day they would come like happy couple and then there are times they would come like they were arguing and then sometimes they would you know I mean when we do get together then they will be you know those like they have an argument again um, or sometimes you know they come back I mean when we get together you could actually see it looks like they kind of work it out so it's it's been that way throughout 2020 to me you know that's what I observe. So it was difficult to really determine whether they were nice to each other or loving to each other and, or fighting or dislike each other. It was difficult, isn't it? Or wasn't it? Well, it was more obvious, uh, you know, last, um, maybe last few months of 2020 that my sister was really um, over the relationship. Uh, especially at the time when we were in um, uh, the New Year's, she already said she's ready for the divorce, and um, she she didn't hold back when you know they were arguing. Uh, she would just you know argue with him. Well, with uh, it's more observant or more open um, that they're having an argument. When did your sister May bring up to you the issue about divorce? The first time he brought that, she brought that to you. The January um, uh, weekend, the New Year's weekend of 2021. So she never mentioned divorce to you the whole entire time in 2020? She did mention about she didn't want a divorce. She mentioned about co-parenting. Um, that's what she, she tried to do when she moved out. Um, that's what she told me. But not divorce. Not divorce. She said she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to do a divorce. Um, she wanted to do co-parenting. Did you understand what she meant by that, co-parenting? Yes, yeah, so they're going to be taking care of the kids, um, but they're going to be separated. Were they supposed to reside in one roof? That I don't know. She, she did mention that she wanted to get her own place. When did she say that to you? I don't recall exactly when. Was it the beginning of 2020? No. Mid Maybe September, October. Um, I think we had more conversation when we went shopping. Yeah. So she wanted to leave Larry and find a place for herself alone, without Larry. Without Larry, yes. And what did you think about that?
<laughs> Let me rephrase it, Yonder. Let me just rephrase it. What was your reaction when she told you that? Um, say, what was the question again? I'm so sorry. What was, it, what was your question again? When May revealed to you that she wanted to leave and find her own place, what was your reaction? Did you say to her, I can help you find a place? No. Um, I, I, you know, at that time, I can't believe that she's actually planning to do that. Um, I was still telling her maybe she could still work it out, uh, their marriage. Um, but I did not, I did not give her any, I mean, I didn't tell her, you know, I'll help you out with, you know, with apartment, but like to us, whatever, whatever our decisions, like our, between our siblings, uh, we always support that. So if, at the back of my mind, whatever she wants to do, we'll be supporting it. Do you mean to say that you're supporting her decision to leave Larry and find a, another place for herself? I will support that, yes. Um, should I still continue on? I think it's five after. So. We're going until 4.30. Okay. Uh, Did you indicate that to her, that you were going to support her decision to leave Larry? Uh, you already asked that question. Did she answer it? Yes. Yeah, I think she said yes, Sean. Uh, so at that time, you were not concerned about me at all? Concerned about living? Yes. Not really. No, I wasn't. Um, I, I, again, I was. I was still hoping they'll be able to work out their relationship. Was that just your hope, or or did you did you tell May that you would support her in the, her decision? Objection asked and answered. But that's sustained. Counselor, let's just, move on. You okay. Now, thoroughly explore okay. This. Sorry, Joanna. You mentioned that May purchased a Jeep in twenty twenty. Yeah, they they got a Jeep for her. Yeah. And you mentioned that the Jeep belongs to. May? The I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, your question, counsel. Excuse me, Anna? I didn't hear your question. Oh, I'm sorry, Anna. I'm sorry, I'd like to speak louder. You mentioned earlier that the Jeep belongs to May. In your testimony, you mentioned that the Jeep belongs to May. That's what our understanding is that um, it was purchased for her. Who paid for the Jeep? I have no idea. Your understanding was the Jeep was purchased for her. How? Why? What caused you to believe that? She said it's her Jeep. So I'm assuming it's, it's her. So yeah. Um, yeah. That's, that's what she said. So the Jeep was purchased about the time that you believe May was thinking about divorcing Larry? I'm not sure about the divorcing, but um, I know she did try to do 
that's why it was kind of confusing there about the relationship because they did purchase the you know the jeep and uh, you know th throughout the year they were having you know problem but um it was the separate you know the the co-parenting when she was talking about it um uh, but not the divorce when when they purchased the jeep isn't it true that your sister and Larry also purchased a motorcycle at that same time frame? Uh, you mean the dirt bike? Motorcycle or uh, what do you call that? Um, what she uses to go into the you know desert and yes, I'm aware of the I was aware of the uh, the dirt bike yes. Do you know what that motorcycle is? What is it called? It's either Yamaha or Suzuki. A two wheel, I mean, Are it's off wheel. Oh, I don't know, you know, so I. D so. You can be more generic. Okay, I don't know well. I just call it motorcycle in general, so uh, because I don't really know all the differences in the motorcycle. So, but that's as a fact that they did buy a motorcycle or whatever you call it about the same time that they purchased the Jeep. Um, I'm not sure if they, it's the same time, but I know it was um, it was purchased uh, for her too. Yes. And. Uh, and that you're aware, you testified earlier that May was planning a trip to Hawaii, as well as you know going back to uh, other places. Did you understand that my that May also wanted to go to the Philippines? There's always been a plan, you know, to to go back to the Philippines, but um, there's. It's always been a plan. Um, so it, it, whether it goes to you know to protrusion or not, I, I don't know. But um, they always talk about going back to the Philippines. Is that another reason why you felt that you needed to advertise in the Philippines to help locate me? Not. Not really uh, to locate her in the Philippines. Um, I guess primarily with our searches to just help us out also financially with our search efforts. Was there a financial aspect on your, uh, you know, on the activities that you're doing for searching May? Was there a financial aspect for that? We are you talking about the, our GoFundMe for that? Yes. Yes, we did. Um, um, we did. Well, not me personally, but um, I, I can't even remember who started the GoFundMe. But at the beginning, um, we put it out there just to help us, the family, um, for our search efforts, also for um, for the hotels, um, because at the beginning we were going back and forth from what we live in you know riverside and my sisters and my brothers live in la area so we want to make sure you know our accommodations is also um we we we, we can have help from that um and then we started um, more into you know the searches so then um the flyers and um, um different uh, equipments that we were using for uh, for the searches was from that we go find me. What was the reason that you chose the Philippines besides finances? I don't recall choosing the Philippines though. I don't know where that coming from. You posted some um, you know posters and that's Hawaii. Oh you didn't do that in the Philippines then? It's, no, it's Hawaii. So in the Philippines, it was mainly asking for monetary donations? No, 
because you were asking about posting it in the Philippines, I just recall having an interview with a you know with one uh, with their national television, and so and that way, you know they were covering you know, her our search effort and our events also. Um, so I we were doing um, the national uh, well, the, the national news, um, but. I did not post anything for from the Philippines, but again, with our search efforts, it's, we're trying to do it also, you know, um, worldwide, and and um, that's how it's been since the beginning. Do you still have relatives in the Philippines? We have a distant cousins, yes. Isn't it true that May does have a close friend in the Philippines by the name of Kim? I hardly remember her, um, but I, I believe she's a uh, grade school friend. Uh, she, it's her friend since grade school but I hardly remember her. But you don't know her as a close friend to, to May? She's a friend to Maya, but I don't know how close they are. Okay. And um, when you advertise in Hawaii, Did you believe that May could be in Hawaii? Not at all. So when you found out that May was missing on or about January 7th or January 8th, 2021, what was the first thing that came to your mind where she could be? I have no idea. I mean, to be honest, I don't know where she could be. So at that time, you didn't think that Larry had anything to do with her disappearance? Council, it's Vegas. Oh, okay. I'll repeat it, Your Honor. January 7, 2021. You had a communication with your sister. Is that correct or no? That's an answer. You asked her about the, when she was communicating with her up until the 7th. I just want to clarify because I think she stated earlier yes, and then when I asked her again, she said no. So I just wanted to clarify whether that's I, I'm, I'm just not clear, Yana. You want to know when was the last time she had communications with her? Yes. Okay, all right. When was the last time you had a telephone conversation with, with her? Uh, the last text message was January like 3. Telephone? I don't recall. Okay, when was the last text message? January 3. January 3rd? Right, with, with her directly. But we, we do have the messenger. Um, Messenger, you know, messenger messages. So, when exactly did you believe that May was missing? Well, we didn't, we didn't know until the Saturday. Uh, the, the night, that's when we were, you know, we went to the house that she's been missing. Um, we just put it together that her last, our last conversation with her was January 9th. And the whole day, 
on January 10th, uh, we, my brother JP couldn't get hold of them. Um, so that's when my you know, brother JR went to check on the house. And January 9th, is that we confirmed that she's been missing. So you, when you call the Chula Vista Police Department on January the 9th, 2021, when you called them, did you tell them that my sister May Melody is missing? Yes. Okay. So you consider that to be the date that you believe your sister is missing? Objection Bay. Question, yes. Well, well, that will be the day that we know, you know, she's she's gone. That she's been missing. Yes. I'm asking you personally, not they, just you personally, because you were the one who called the Chula Vista Police Department, mm -hmm. and you told them, my sister May Milere is missing. So that's the day you believe she, she was missing. Correct. Okay. When you then, in your mind, believe that day, what was the first thing that came to your mind where she would be? I have no idea. At that time, did you, be, did you have any thoughts that Larry may have done something to her? Yes. Yes. What caused you to have thoughts about Larry doing something to me? That's the filing of the divorce, all the, the arguments, um, all the fighting that led you know, to that day, uh, the 2020, so. Did you tell? the Chula Vista Police Department that? Objection paid is to time. Sustained. At the time you called the Chula Vista Police Department, who did you speak to? I have no idea. You spoke to a detective? I believe it was a dispatcher. What exactly did you tell the dispatcher? I have a... Um, 39-year-old um, sister, um, she, we haven't had any communication or contact with her. She, we didn't know where her whereabouts, um, that we believe that she's been missing. I, that's probably what I recall, you know, let, telling them. Isn't it true that they ask you if you believe she was a victim of some sort of a abduction? I don't recall. Did they, you also recall that they ask you if you believe she left voluntarily? I, I don't remember. And do you remember telling them that it could be either? No, I don't remember. Is it your testimony today that you did not know in 2020 that your sister May Miletti was having an affair with her co-worker? Well, let me ask her first, Your Honor, why she didn't believe it, or she did not pay attention, or whatever her reaction was. 
because she can't remember when she heard it. Okay, so. Let us first uh, determine when you first heard about your sister or the allegation that your sister was having an affair with a co-worker. Yeah, I don't really recall exactly when. Um, it's either I heard it from my brothers and my sisters or my, well, from my, from my brother, or I heard it directly from Larry. Um, so I don't really recall exactly when I heard, but I, to be honest, I was brushing it off. I didn't believe that, you know, she'd be having an affair. So when did you confirm that she was having an affair with her co-worker? I never confirm it. You were not aware of the investigation that occurred in her workplace? Protection of relevance, you're saying? Okay, so, so today your testimony is you don't really know for sure whether your sister May Miletti was having an affair with a co-worker. Objection relevance. I just want to clarify her testimony on. Sidebar, actually, yes, yeah, sidebar reported 